Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rudder, author of one of my most popular books, The Natural Hair Bible, and founder of HowToBlackHair.com. For this video, I'm going to be answering an email that I received from Felicia. Felicia emailed me because she said she wants to go natural, but the thing is, is that she wants to know, will her hair grow faster and longer with it being natural or with it being relaxed. She already has relaxed hair, but her problem is that she doesn't like the way that it looks and appears very thin. And also she has some issues with a little bit of breakage and things like that as well. So what she wants to know is which one will be best. So what I'm going to do is give you some suggestions and point you into the direction of, for what will be best for you so that you can reach your length goals and things of that sort. So my very first tip is that, or my very first, um, suggestion is that uh, no matter if you have relaxed hair or natural hair you have to implement proper hair care habits tools products to make sure that the hair ultimately thrives so if your hair is relaxed you got to be doing your protein treatments you got to be deep conditioning you got to make sure you're not using too much heat or you're not using heat too often you got to make sure you're keeping up with your trims and then if you have natural hair you got to make sure you're deep conditioning enough you got to implement some co-washing some protective styling for length retention and make sure that your ends are trimmed as well. So what I mean is that both have their own set of requirements and their own specific things to do to make sure that the hair has its tendency to thrive at its best potential. So depending on which one, your hair can grow as long as what you want it to if you're implementing key elements to doing so. Now, my second tip is that if you wanna grow your hair long with it being relaxed, I suggest that you consult with a professional in your area to assist you. Now, if you've already been relaxing your hair on your own and you don't need anybody's help, you know, you can continue to do what's best for you, but to make sure that your hair is receiving um, proper care, to make sure that um, someone is there to actually point out any issues or see any roadblocks along the way that could potentially happen with your hair, I suggest that you consult with a professional. So what I would like for you to do is ask a couple of friends who actually have relaxed hair that go to a stylist or just look up stylists in your area on the internet to figure out what's the best course for you, what's the best salon you should go to, or the best stylist you should work with, especially when you're dealing with chemicals on your hair. Because the worst thing that can happen is that you can suffer from baldness or hair loss or anything of that sort because of how irritable this chemical can be. And now my last tip is if you are going natural. Now, you don't have to go to a stylist if you don't want to, but if you're not sure about what to actually do with your hair, you don't really know which direction to go, then I suggest that you go seek a professional. But if you'd rather be a do-it-yourself, it's a lot safer with the route of natural hair because you don't need any chemicals to maintain the look of your hair. So in that case, if you'd rather do it yourself, you can feel free to do that. You can experiment with different products. You can go ahead and do the big chop or transition, whatever your heart's desires are. You just got to make sure that you are educating yourself about what it takes to have healthy natural hair. And a great place to start, of course, if uh, you would like more information, is my book, The Natural Hair Bible. I take you step by step as far as what to do with your hair, whether or not you should big chop or not, what kind of products to use. And I even give you homemade recipes so you don't have to go out and look for all the ingredients and in different kinds of hair care products. So the beauty about that is that you can leave it all in the palm of your hands and go with your hair how you choose and desire so to answer your question both can grow long hair you just got to implement the proper tools products and hair care regimens and habits to make either or thrive thank you for your email and also thank you all for watching and if um, any of you uh, before any of you go make sure to sign up for my email list so that way you can be automatically entered for any giveaways that I do and also only there you can receive exclusive content so until then I will see all of you in my very next video